Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you. Today I wanna to talk about what's called a social or rather a conversation analysis. I wanna explain exactly what that means, why it's important for your business and your brand, and then how you would go about facilitating one. Now, before I do that, I wanna talk about the model, a model that I created about a year ago, um, and it's a model that looks at analytics to better understand an audience. Now, using data and analytics, if you can understand and uncover the topics, the trends, the, the, the themes that are demanding the attention of your audience, um, you can get a better understanding of what they care about, what's top of mind for them, what's keeping them up at night, what technologies they're using, what media publications they're reading. Now, that's important because from a supply standpoint, you have to ask yourself, okay, are we meeting the demand of our audience with our supply of content? Now, look at this and think about this through the lens of a conversation analysis. Now, a conversation analysis will give you insights into what different audiences are talking about. Now, back in the day, we used to use a platform called Sysimos, and Sysimos was, was great. You plugged in some keywords and, and Boolean logic, and it gave you so much data about everything in the world. And we used to do these audits and, and analyses on uh, various topics for a new business or for clients. And we would plug in the data and we would just get back this analysis of the world. Like what is the world saying about this topic or what is the news saying about this or blogs or social. And, and that was fine back then. It was, it, it was kind of a standard, right? It was expected that you were to do some type of analysis in order to understand a market, a group, a behavior, etc. But today is different. Today we have evolved into being a little bit more laser focused and understanding um, not just who our audience is, um, but then also segmenting those audiences um, into smaller clusters. I talk about this, I think, back in June or July of, of 2020, and I called it multi-segment audience intelligence. So I'll make sure that there's a link somewhere here uh, for, you to, for you to watch the video. Now, a conversation analysis gives you insights into what groups of people are saying. Now, if you think about um, relationships, right, a brand and the relationship that it has with its customers and its audience, it's about relations to relate with um, an audience. And the best way to, to relate with someone is to understand what they care about and be able to respond um, in a way that drives value. So a conversation analysis does that. It gives you insights into a couple things. Um, top of what topics are top of mind, some larger trends that might be developing the specific vernacular and keywords that different audiences are using. Now, that's what a conversation analysis is, but let me tell you why it's important. Now, again, as I said, in order to relate to someone, you have to speak like them. You have to imitate a lot of their, their behavior as well as the words that they use. And so if you understand what a particular audience is saying and how they're referencing a technology or a topic and begin to use that in all of your outbound marketing and communications, whether it's your blogs, your editorial, or your social, or even your, your PR work, uh, then you, you, you are that much closer to building a relationship uh, with that particular audience, right? And so uh, Im imitating or mimicking the content that your customers are using is the number one. Number two is, and I think we can all agree, and, and me coming from a kind of an SEO background from back in the day, you know, the way that we speak verbally is, well, I guess you can't speak any other way, but the way that you speak is the way that you search. So if groups of people are talking about a topic and they're, they're talking about it again through the lens of, uh, you know, they're solving a technology problem or through the lens of their personal worldview, um, they're probably using Google the same way, right? So we know that Google is the kind of the gateway into the internet. And so again, if you understand what they're saying, you can also think about from a long-term, um, you know, shelf life standpoint, being able to appear in the search results for the terms that, that you know, they're using, not just in their social conversations, but also um, what they're searching for in Google. So let's go ahead and jump into an example so I can show you um, what this looks like, what a, what a portion of a conversation analysis looks like. Now, what we have here is a conversation analysis of business decision makers. Now, when we built this, the first thing that we did was we built an audience of self-identified business decision makers. Now, if you're not sure what a business decision maker is, it's somebody who works within an organization who's responsible for a P&L or responsible for a product. Sometimes it's the CEO. Oftentimes it's the head of operations or the head of supply chain or the head of uh, you know, uh, finance or the CFO. Now, again, going back to what I said earlier, like this is not looking at the world and what the blogs and news and forums and, and social media is saying about a particular topic. Uh, this is looking specifically at 
uh, about 7,000 self-identified business decision makers. Now, what we looked at is what are they talking about as it relates to digital transformation? So what are the core topics that are, are parallel with, with um, that, that conversation and what's top of mind for this audience? And you can see here, and I've talked a lot about these conversation analyses in the past, how it's color coded. Now the color coded, now this is very important because the colors and the size of the colors represent volume. So in other words, for IR, which is the fourth industrial revolution um, and work are kind of make up for about maybe 45, 46% of the conversation. Um, followed by innovation, data, and scaling. Now, that's great, but let's dig down a little bit further and see, you know, the second layer of conversation. So if we keep in the kind of, you know, four IR uh, bucket, you can see things like 5G, AI, innovation, trends, and report. So these, these are verbatim words that uh, these business, business decision makers are, are using in their public conversations. So you can start to get a better understanding without kind of sifting through thousands of mentions um, of an audience. You can begin to see what's important to this audience. And again, as I said, you can use this data to then incorporate into your social content or your editorial calendar or your blogs and headlines. And in some cases, you might want to you know, pass it on to your search team to make sure that they are bidding on all of these keywords. Because remember, the way that we talk is the way that we search. And what this analysis is showing is essentially the same business decision maker audience. But what are they saying about retail, right? In 2020, the retail kind of conversation about you know, the opening up of new of the businesses after COVID-19, the, you know, the shutting down of retail, the rise of, of e-commerce and, and delivery and things like that. These are the things that are top of mind for this business decision maker audience as it relates to retail. It looks nothing like what we just looked at, right? We looked at digital transformation first. Now we're looking at retail. And again, you can see consumers, retail technology, e-commerce um, are the three largest buckets of conversation, followed by really small, you know, splinters of conversation, data, IoT, future, NRF, and then CES. So this is all actionable data because, you know, this should be now informing um, everything that you do and you publish from a social media and just your overall digital marketing, digital marketing perspective. And that's it. That is, that is what a conversation analysis is. Now, there's so much more that goes into it, right? There's sentiment, there's, you know, what, you know, media publications are certain audiences reading. But if you really want to kind of dive deep into what a particular audience is saying and what they're caring about, what they care about, um, this is the type of analysis you want to do. And again, it starts with building an audience. And I've talked about that in multiple videos and then it's it's mining the insights from that audience when they're talking about topics now we looked at digital transformation and we looked at retail but you can look at sports you can look at music you can look at travel whatever you think they might be interested in you can build a taxonomy and start to understand what it is they're saying about those topics so I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you learned uh, something new today. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out um, in a social network of your choice or email if you know my email. But I hope you have a great rest of your week. Uh, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And until I see you next time, talk to you soon. Bye.